Welcome to TechSibo.com. This is part 2 of creating responsive website with ASP.NET and Bootstrap. In this video we will create the responsive navigation menu with website branding. If you are not yet watched part 1, either you watch the video or download the project files, links in the description. So in the last video we set up our project with Bootstrap, after Bootstrap is set up on your project you are gonna have something look like this. The first thing you always do whenever you create a new empty website is add a new web form. Right click on your website name in Solution Explorer, go to add, web form. Name your web form and click OK. Now Visual Studio created a new web form with its default structure. So in order to implement Bootstrap in ASP.NET, we need to add the basic template of Bootstrap in our web form. To do this go to getbootstrap.com and click getting started and select basic template. Select and copy all the code in the head section. and paste it in our web form also remove the existing code from web form now you can see the bootstrap css file is referenced in our project go to the basic template of bootstrap and copy the javascript references from body section and paste it in our web form body section, to load our web page fast always add javascript reference at the end of body section. Now our project is all set to transform into a responsive website. Now let's start designing our website. First let's create a navigation menu for our website. Add a division with class navbar default and navbar fixed top. Navbar class represents the style of your navbar and the fixed top represents the position of navbar, and this division have a role of navigation. Inside this division add a container division, to align the elements or fit inside a container. Inside the container create a navbar header. Inside the header class, create a button for displaying when our website is loaded from small devices.
let's run our project and see the action. If you reduces the browser window size, you can see the button with a single line. By default we need to add two more lines to create the navigation toggle button. So copy and paste the icon bar. Now we created our structure of navigation bar. Now let's add our website name. The class navbar brand is used in Bootstrap to create branding of our websites. With this we can add logo and text to our website, this links to our home page so we references the default.aspx. In order to add our logo, first you need to create folder called images, and inside that paste your logo. Always add a PNG file for your logo. Add reference to the image. If we run our project you can see the image is too large, so let's add a height attribute of 30. Make sure you close the IMG tag, otherwise you will get this error. Type the website name. Add a span tag to show text next to the logo. Now let's add the menu items, add a division with class navbar default. Add an unordered list with class navbar right, so that it position the right side of the navbar. Now add our navigation items with the list item tag, the class active used to represent the current page, so we are creating our home page so the active page is home. In this way add, about and contact page.
Now our next list item is a drop down list so we use the class drop down to our product list item. Now it does not look like drop down, so we add another B tag and make it as carrot. Now you see the magic, adding a carrot class add drop down icon. Now add a drop down header. After that add our drop down list items. Now our drop down list looks awesome. Now add another header and a menu item register. Now in order to separate our drop down header add a separator to add horizontal line. Now we have complete awesome navigation bar. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot. Thank you, see you in the next episode.